Hey, what's up, guys? The Ugg here, and in today's video, we are gonna react to patch 3.1a. So let's get started. Welcome to patch 3.1a. How has 3.1 been treating you all so far? I have to say, pretty, pretty good patch. Items, new champions, matchmaking much better, honestly. Master Plus, really, really good right now. Have you been on any fun split pushing journeys with your new buffed up minion friends? Or has harnessing the power of elemental dragons been more your speed? I actually haven't even tried elemental dragon uh, uh, elemental dragons yet. Busy grinding for challenger guys. The grind is real. We we are top five right now in Europe. Top five. If you haven't experienced, but by the time you're watching, maybe we're not. But I'm reacting a few days beforehand. If you haven't experienced the new dragons, there's still a few days left to try them out before they fly back to the nest or co-op or cave or wherever they live. We aren't 100% sure and our dragon expert is out sick. Recently we've been hearing about a certain blade master who's been terrorizing the rift with his insanely fast jungle clear. Look at you Master Yi. So this patch we're making some balance changes to him along with some other champions across the map. We also have a few adjustments to some system, cozy new skins and a puzzling new event. We'll see you back in 3.1b. Reminder content will be released throughout the patch. 11 pages, okay. News, new modes, Elemental Rift. There's still a few days left to test and play our first version of Elemental Rift in the limited game mode. For more information on Elemental Rift and all Dragon's features, check out our last set of patch, uh, patch notes. Till 10th April, okay. Actually, by the time you're seeing this, only two more days. New skins for again a Lux skin. Are you serious? Again Lux and Ezreal. They they have I feel like Lux and Ezreal have like a billion a billion skins. Yikes. Accessories, we don't care about that one, to be honest. New icons, okay, cool. Events. Wild puzzle. Puzzle. Reporting in Captain Puzzle Soul Solver on duty. Get ready to put the pieces together for some fun rewards. Uh 16th April. Interesting. Champion changes, now for the good stuff. Jarvan, the heir to the Marcia, has been underperforming amongst other popular fighters in both the Baron lane and the jungle. We want to amp up Jarvan's dueling potential and increase his ability to support his allies. So we're boosting the attack speed bonus that the Marcian standard grants. Ooh, he's getting buffed. The Marcian standard attack speed bonus getting buffed 5% per rank. Um... I think I put Jarvan S tier, and you guys should definitely check out my Jarvan video I've made recently. Jarvan, pretty pretty strong jungler. The thing is, he is a tanky jungler with very good gank potential, but his hard carry potential, like hard 1 vs 9 potential, is not that great because you kind of rely on your teammates to um, yeah, do the damage, you engage, you get the crowd control going. You knock people up, you catch people, but you need the follow-up. So yeah, he's very good, but you also need teammates uh, that are not that bad. Like, if you have follow-up, I would say Jarvan, very, very good. <clears throat> now Karma. Karma's release balance was close to where we want her to be for the long term, but she's doing too much damage in the mid-game. We're tipping the scales and lowering Inner Flame's Mantra bonus damage to make her less of a damage threat since... She has so much other powerful utility in her kit. Um, mantra bonus damage on the first ability getting nerfed in the late game a little bit. 10, 20, and 30. It's not enough. It's not enough. Karma is absolutely broken. <coughs> um, first ability insane poke. Second ability root. Third ability shield plus movement speed. Uh, ultimate, uh, AOE, knock, knock, pull, knock up, whatever you want to call it, the donut. Um, Karma is way too strong. Support, she's permaban. I always ban her. She's my, Master Yi and Karma are my most banned champions and Karma, uh, ban, 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 ban. And this doesn't matter. Ban, 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 please. Ban, broken. Next one. Master Yi. We know that Master Yi has been terrorizing the Rift and been permaban status for a lot of players since our update to his Alpha Strike. 
It's allowed him to clear the jungle at turbo speed, so we're reducing the bonus damage he deals to monsters, so this Wuju Bladesman isn't the undisputed clear speed king, that's true. Alpha Strike, bonus damage against monsters and minions getting nerfed by 10 in the early game and 25 in the late game. Bonus dam uh, damage ratio against monsters and minions hit by subsequent strikes from 100% to 25%. So this was actually an issue. They did say the subsequent strikes would deal 25% to champions, but they didn't adjust it uh, for monsters. So his jungle clear was way too strong. Um... Hmm, 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 hmm. I wonder how, how much it's gonna nerf him. Obviously his jungle tier was broken, but his damage is still crazy onto one single target. I mean, it's definitely gonna hurt him a little bit, but not too much. Maybe you can go for the super quick 4 camp clear anymore, but you can still go for 3 camp clear, and his damage output onto champions is still the same. So yeah. I, th I, th I still think he's gonna be very strong. Maybe not turbo broken as plus as plus 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 tier, but still probably around S plus or S tier. Nunu. I swear to god, before I'm reading this, I already know Nunu is way too strong right now. Like if you are good on Nunu in high elo, Nunu is one of the best high elo picks as a jungler. He is so insanely good and the team comp is just so strong when you have a Nunu. Because he's an insane frontliner with insane crowd control and he's Lee Sin 2.0, um, but AP form. A tanky AP Lee Sin. That's Nunu. Uh, Nunu Willum have a rather steep mastery curve. It turns out that piloting snowboards through the rift is not as easy as it looks. They've been performing for players that put in the time to master them. But we want everyone to have the chance to become master snowball pilots. We also feel that the ability power build has some room to grow. So we focus our adjustments to, uh, to those parts of this IC duos kit. Base stats, they are buffing his armor. Consume AP rate, oh the buffing consume AP ratio. 50% to 65%, that, that just means Road of Ages can be, become more popular. Third ability is Snowball Barrage. Damage per snowball, 7, 8, 12, 24, wait, 4 more? 4 more in the late game, 1 more in the, I mean it's slight buff in the early, but in the late game much better, and then AP ratio also buffed. Absolute 0 base damage getting buffed in the early game, and client kind of nerfed in the late game. Okay, I'm curious about these. I think these two changes are going to be big. Consume, damage getting increased, and the armor per level. It's going to make him even more tanky. I think Nunu might become S plus tier with this. Nunu in the right hands is very hard to deal with. Very hard to deal with. He is very good in team fights. But uh, the, the downside I always see on Nunu is, yeah. You are an insane ganker, you are insane in teamfights, um, you have great utility, crowd control, etc. But you don't have the damage to hard carry 1 vs 9. But you are super tanky. Mm. The downside I see is, if your teammates are bad, you don't have damage. That's the You are not the typical hard carry 1 vs 9. Even if you have 4 inters, you can carry on some champions if you perform exceptionally well. But on Nunu, I am, I'm not sure if I can see that. Maybe it's just a very, very strong S tier. A strong, strong, strong S tier. Need to see. I need to play Nunu more, to be fair. I think Nunu is very, very strong. And honestly, when I'm not on Olaf, I definitely have some issues against Nunu because he has so much crowd control in those teamfights. Kavi is also fine, but Nunu against a typical, um, typical standard jungler is actually kind of hard. He's very tanky, he's super annoying, he snowboards pretty good as well. Ah, oh, but they were Evelyn and Skiga broken. And, oh, oh, I forgot this part here. Maximum damage getting buffed. What? By 100, almost 100. Maximum charge multiplier increased as well. Oh, that's a huge damage nerf on uh, Mr. Nunu. AP hybrid. I mean, you don't go AP Nunu. You go hybrid Nunu probably. 
maybe with Road of Age, then Protector, or Sunfire, Road of Age, Sunfire, Death Cap, or something like that. And then you can go for Banshee, you can go for the, the Armor AP item, stuff like that. A hybrid build, I think you're gonna go hybrid on Nunu now. Olaf! Olaf S plus tier right now, super super strong. So what are they gonna do? They're nerfing the base damage of the third ability by 10 on each rank. Um, doesn't matter, honestly doesn't matter. It's not gonna do anything for him. It's still the same. 10, it's 10, guys. 10. 10. 10 is nothing, it doesn't really matter. Next one is gonna be Renekton. Lately, Renekton has been struggling in rank while continuing to be powerful pick for coordinated teams. We're cutting down on some of his early game healing to make his lane priority less powerful, but in return, we're giving his Gator some, dur some more durability and healing for the later stages of the game. This should ensure, ensure that he can still perform his role in teamfights and skirmishes outside of the laning phase. Health per level getting buffed by 10. Interesting. And the first ability, the healing per enemy is getting nerfed. The base healing is getting nerfed. But plus 8% bonus attack damage. I think that's similar to PC now. Where you have some AD ratio scaling. So if you go Blade of the Rune King, Black Cleaver, Death Dance. Oh, hello there. Much, much more healing now compared to before. So I would say, I'm not going to do the math. But I would say in the mid game already you have more, way more healing. Wait, this is actually a lot more, guys. Let's say um, you have, with two items, you have like 100 edition AD, right? Brave of the Rune King, Blood Cleaver, this is like almost 100 edition AD. Then you get like already 7, 7. Around 7, I guess, because it's not quite 100. Like, wait, let me see. Blade of Black Cleaver gives you 40. And Blade of the Rune King gives you... Wait, where's Blade? 20. But that's still a lot, guys. There's still 5 more. With 2 items, you get 5 more. And that is already at the second rank. I mean, that's already... Wait. Actually, if you have max healing per enemy hit. Oh, it's per enemy hit. Uh -huh. But let's say you're hitting just... One champion, two champion. Uh, I mean, after two, you pretty much do more damage, uh, more healing. The less people, the better, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, if you just hit two people, it's definitely a buff with two items. But if you've hit a lot of uh, people with two items, it's around the same healing number. But after anything, after two items, it's definitely a surplus, more damage. Because you get like 5 AD, yeah, 5 AD with 2, uh, 5 more healing, 5 more healing per enemy um, with 2 items, with just 2 items that are your core items. With that then, even more. Does Sterex Gauge count for your bonus attack damage? Wait, let me see. Nah, it's just for your base attack damage. It's not for your bonus. Hmm. But your death dance gives you another 35. And then you're almost at 100. And then you get like 8. So it's 18. And it's actually not that much more. It is a bit more, but not that much. Enhanced damage healing. That's 20. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Relax, guys. Look at the enhanced healing per enemy hit though, 24%. Yeah, it's definitely a buff, but not that... Actually, number-wise, it's not that insane. Then, uh, actually, oh, oh, it's, uh, not, uh, it's actually not bad. Not bad, not bad. Three items are healing a lot more. Because it's per, per enemy hit. So let's say if you're healing 15 more per enemy hit, and they are counting uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 times 15, 60 healing in total more. Compared to instead of just... Uh, actually, it's not that bad. Okay, not bad, not bad. It's definitely... I don't know, I put Renekton S plus here already. I don't know why they're popping him even more. Okay, next one, Vayne. 
The Night Hunter has been hunting a little too well during the final hour, so we're cutting down on both the movement speed bonus and the extra damage she gains during health. Yes! Obey enough! Obey enough! Hallelujah! Now uh, let's see. Bonus movement speed gets enough by 20. Hey, actually, that's a lot. 20 movement speed enough? Not bad. Bonus attack damage getting nerfed as well by 10. Yes, sir! Way nerf! Uh, I feel like they just need to nerf the second ability as well, the true damage. <coughs> um, I don't know how much it's gonna hurt her, but... Vayne broken as fuck. This time I'm out. Okay, I'm not gonna read it out. Uh, they are buffing Vagon, reducing the cooldown by 2 seconds at each rank. It's gonna help... Oh... I mean the third ability, Event Horizon, that's the stun, right? Yeah, it's the, st uh, the the cage. Interesting. So you can try to cage more. I think what they need to do is animation time speed of the cage. It's uh, too delayed. I think that's the biggest issue. Why base attack damage getting buffed by 6? Wow. That's a lot. That's a lot. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's a lot for the early game, so her jungle clear space is going to be much better. And uh, Trinity Sterox Gauge is going to hurt like a truck. Interesting. Might put her uh, directly into S tier now. I think I put her like high A tier, but this might put her into S tier. Armor changes. Varmox armor getting max health healing ratio per second, 5% to 2.5 seconds. It's a nerf, right? Why? I, I, I assumed they would try to buff Varmox. Blade of the Rune King getting nerfed, 100 gold more, and combined cost 100 gold more. Monster, Baron Nasher. Baron base health getting increased by 1k, and his acid shots doing even... Oh, wait. They increase the base damage and plus 25% attack damage. Acid shot damage ratio, ratio to targets hit by subsequent shots decreased by 50%. Yeah, they are nerfing the damage of Baron a little bit. Yeah, they are nerfing the damage but giving a little bit more HP. Okay. System Systems. Home Guard and Minions. Minions play a pretty big role in the later stages of the game. So we are making some adjustments to alleviate some of the pressure those late game minions waves can cause. We are increasing the bonus movement speed for home guard in the mid to late game to allow champions to get into the more aggressive positions quicker while also reducing the move speed the minions gain. Home guard. Movement speed effect after 12 minutes gain 30% movement speed for 4 seconds. After 1 minute gain 40% speed until the game ends. Okay, interesting. Minion movement speed is getting reduced as well. Wait. Oh, they're just buffing the home level. Oh, I don't know if I'm a fan of that. I don't know. Wait, they changed from 12 minutes. After 12 minutes, you gain the home guard. But now after one minute, you gain it. But if you die to first blood, for example, you make it instantly to the... Um, to the wait back, to the lane, and you're not losing minions. The likelihood of you losing minions, even if you die first blood, makes the likelihood of you getting snowballed weaker or not. I'm not sure if I'm a fan of that. Why do they say mid to late game if they say 1? Or is that the typo? Might be maybe 10. Maybe it's 10. I, I can't believe they would do 1 minute. Right? From 12 minutes to 1 minute. Before it was in the mid late game and now it's already in the early game. There's no way they would do that. That would be so stupid. They, th they say... Uh, it says one minute. It says one minute. 
but you get you get my point, right? That's uh, counterproductive because uh, the likelihood of you snowballing gets worse because uh, if you're crashing a wave into the turret, he's not gonna lose the he's not gonna lose as much anymore because he gets the home guard already at minute one and he's gonna make it back into the lane and he's like, oh, oh, not a fan of that shit. We're making some adjustments to respawns and changing how much champion can be penalized or favored on their death timers. If you have a lead and are ahead in your game, you will be penalized less. But if you find yourself behind in your games, you will be favored less. They are just increasing the respawn timer. Oh, that's the panel. Oh. If you find yourself behind in games, you will be favored less. Ah, oh, if you have a lead, you will respawn quicker than someone who's behind. So the whole purpose of this is that the likelihood of you ending the game if you're ahead already is better. So you can end the game easier. So this is kind of counterproductive to end the game because you can snowboard less, but this is like um, favor towards ending the game easier. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Free to play champion rotations. We don't care. We rage. We have everything. Easy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, yeah. Um. Pretty good changes. Olaf nerf, not enough. They nerf, needs more. I mean, it's probably already pretty good, but uh, I would prefer even more nerfs. Um, Nunu buff, I don't know what to think about it. He's actually very strong in my opinion already. Master Yi nerf, not enough. Way too weak. Uh, Karma nerf, way, 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 way too weak. Needs way more nerfs. Javan buff, interesting. What would I like to see more? I mean, Fiora and Camille, you could say, oh, they need to get nerfed. They got, they got nerfed so many patches in a row. They got nerfed so many times. It's enough, guys. It's enough. It's enough. It's enough. What do I ban usually? Yumi, Lulu, Karma, Master Yi, Olaf, Evelyn. Evelyn needs to get nerfed. She's broken as fuck. Vayne, ADCs. I usually don't care about ADCs too much. I wouldn't ban ADCs. Really, Diana needs a nerf. Listen, maybe a little bit, but yeah, overall, pretty good changes. I like them. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and I see you next time. Bye bye. Fire spreading all around my room. My world's so bright, it's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush.